Scott will attempt to land on his two good wheels while resting his right wing on the back of the speeding platform. The maneuver is technically possible, but extremely hazardous. I think about 90 miles an hour, because that's what it took to keep that airplane in the air. Anything less than that, it doesn't want to fly. Scott flies into position, and Jim floors the truck. But it's not going fast enough. If Scott tries to land at this slow speed, the plane will crash. At the last second, he aborts the land. Then, with time running out, the men are forced to try an even more daring strategy. First, they borrow a turbocharged sedan. Then, Joe plans to reach through the sunroof and pull down the disabled landing gear. If this doesn't work, all hope is lost. Worst case scenario there is the airplane coming down on top of the car and... I would be the nail, he'd be the hammer. Now, the plane is running only on fumes. Joe knows this is his last chance to save Scott. Amazingly, he does it. Having accomplished this seemingly impossible mission, Scott is able to make a safe landing, and not a moment too soon.